My name is Kayla, and this is Cinnamon the Square Bunny, and Pokemon Legends Arceus is out right now! <laughs> when this video drops, I'll be at the Nintendo store in Manhattan picking up PLA. I'm so excited! Don't worry though, because I'm going to be vlogging the entire time, so you guys are going to get to see all the things. I'll be live streaming PLA as soon as I get home. I plan on live streaming the entire story, and I took a whole bunch of days off of work, so I don't have to like coordinate with all of that. I'm like so excited to share this experience with you guys. In the meantime, I want to talk about the opening cutscene of the game. I have been dying to talk about this with you all, but like I didn't want to spoil anything, but now the game is like officially out and this is like literally the first minute of gameplay footage. So like I have to talk about it. Also for context, this is pretty much the only story thing that I have seen. So like, I don't know what happens next. I just know like this tiny bit, but it's amazing and I have to talk about it. Okay, so the opening cutscene of PLA shows the main character floating in this weird void of a place. If the trainer is male, he's wearing a shirt from Modern Kalos. If she's female, she's wearing a shirt from Modern Galar. By this, I mean these are legit shirts that the player character from X and Y and Sword and Shield can wear. The main character notices their phone and tries to grab hold of it. Arceus appears and turns the regular boring phone into the ARC phone. Then Arceus is like GLHF and sends the player through time and space to the Hisuei region. The main character wakes up on the beach and Professor Laventon says that they fell from the sky. I can already hear people screaming, the main character is from the future! Woo! You know, because of the shirts being from the future. And they're kind of right, but also kind of not. You see, in Pokemon, there are characters known as fallers. A faller is someone who travels from one version of reality to another. We know it's a separate version of reality rather than just through time because of Zinnia, the only known faller to have retained her memories. She says that she came from a Hoenn in the future that was both similar and different from the one in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Specifically, her version of Hoenn did not have access to Mega Evolution. Zinnia is proof that fallers travel to alternate realities, not just back in time. We know for sure that the main character in PLA is a faller because they wake up on a beach. That's how fallers always enter their new reality. It happened to both Annabelle and Looker. Both wound up on beaches in totally different realities with little memory of what happened. In case you were thinking that the main character in PLA is already the champion in their other reality, that's probably not the case. Fallers tend to bring their Pokemon with them when they fall into the new reality. Annabelle, another faller who went from being the Sailor Maiden in the Emerald Battle Frontier to Looker's partner in the International Police, keeps her Alakazam and Snorlax. I'm guessing her Pokemon forgot just as much as she did because otherwise it makes no sense. Like Alakazam is a super smart Pokemon so it would definitely find some way to communicate to her like this is who you were in the other reality. So I'm guessing the Pokemon also lose their memories. Anyways, this means that in the reality that the protagonist is coming from, they hadn't caught any Pokemon, which for me is a relief because like seeing the beginning cutscene, I was like, did we just like leave a whole bunch of Pokemon in that other reality? Like, are they gonna be okay? But no, there weren't any like, that is pretty much confirmed you are catching Pokemon for the first time unless there's something later in the game because I've literally only seen this first cutscene. Okay, cool. We've established that our character is a faller and a little bit about them, but like why does this even matter? Well, it actually matters a lot. Up until this point, we didn't know where fallers came from. There was a lot of speculation about fallers potentially being connected to Hoopa, whose rings can allow things to pass from one reality into another. Now it seems much more likely that Arceus is behind Fallers, which is very important because while Hoopa is known for being mischievous and chaotic, Arceus is more of the orderly planning type. This means that Fallers are chosen not by accident, but on purpose. So why was our main character, a person who hadn't even started their Pokemon journey, chosen to fall from either Kalos or Galar into the Hisuei region? I guess we'll have to play Pokemon Legends Arceus to find out. If you want to find out with me, come hang during my live stream. I'm going to be playing through the story in its entirety, and it's honestly probably going to be pretty hilarious because like when things jump out and attack me, I tend to be pretty dramatic about that. 
So yeah, my gameplay will stay on the channel after the live stream too. So if you miss it, like when it's actually live, feel free to watch it after the fact and just kind of get caught up. Leave a like on this video if you learned something new and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I'm streaming. I hope you guys have so much fun exploring Pokemon Legends Arceus and I'll see you soon on the stream. Bye. Okay, I want to go through my plushies really quick because I got a new one, which will surprise you at the end. This is the Minless Score Bunny. Pikachu. Pikachu doesn't have a nickname. Yeah. Pikachu. Eevee. Larvitar, who finally has a name. Larvitar's name is Coco. And finally, my newest plushie. Oh, look at all this. It's so cute.